Hey, it's Dr. Gonzo, and you're watching in a nutshell. So today I thought we'd talk about left ventricular assist device, or what is commonly termed an LVAD. Now, when is it that people require LVADs is commonly the first question that I get when I see patients that are seeking for this technology. And the answer, or the common answer is, those people that have not tolerated and are maxed out on the type of medicines that they're receiving for their heart failure. Now, the way that we put an LVAD in is the following. We typically have to do open heart surgery. I drew the heart to at least give you an idea of where is it that we place this device when we have to put a patient on an LVAD. Now, as a review, this is the left side of the heart, and I've drawn the aorta, which is the major vessel that comes out of the left ventricle, the left ventricle, which is a large chamber that basically pushes oxygenated blood to the uh, rest of the body, and then the valve or the door through which the blood has to go to, which is called the aortic valve. Now, when somebody has heart failure because of a heart attack or a virus or any number of the diseases that can cause heart failure, the heart becomes enlarged and stretches out. It becomes almost like a bag. It's not effectively pushing blood out of the heart. And so despite the fact that we try to give patients medicines to try to make the heart squeeze harder, people that require LVADs don't have the ability to do it despite the fact of being on those medicines. So surgically what we will do is we will take somebody to the operating room, and this is open heart surgery, and do the following. We'll make an aperture right at the tip of the heart through which we'll place what we call a cannula. It's a metallic device or structure that basically is responsible for draining blood to a pump that goes outside of the heart inside of the body and it looks like something like that in here there's a turbine or a rotor that drags blood out of the heart into the device and pushes it out a graph or a tube which, which is made out of cloth to the aortic valve. So now imagine blood is getting drained from the heart to the pump through the graph and into the aorta to provide oxygen rich blood that is not effectively ejected from the left ventricle during each systolic contraction. So that's LVAD in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.